What is going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Guys, wanted to talk about five Colts who are primed for some breakout seasons this year. And before we get started, I just want to say this episode is presented by Prize Picks. Be sure to visit the Prize Picks app today and use the code BTJ for a $100 deposit match when you sign up. Now, guys, for this it, for this actual video, I'm not necessarily going to talk about it as in every single play. I mean, there's a bunch of players that we could talk about having as primed for breakouts. But mainly, I look at it and say that uh, what I'm trying to get at for this video is mainly guys who either didn't get to play last year that are ready to play or some guys who uh, are just getting looked down upon or a couple other things that could potentially I'll, I'll kind of give my uh, understanding of it here in just a moment. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the first name here. And like I said, guys, there's a bunch of names that I'm not going to mention here that you could probably enlist in this, but we're going to just go ahead and go with it. Uh, so I'm going to go with Jonathan Taylor here. Uh, prime for a breakout season. Uh, remember last year, there was the whole drama with the contract thing and dealing with the an injury that he sustained in the offseason um, and, you know, having complications from a surgery or something. It, it, I don't know if you really remember what happened at this point. All I know is, obviously, last season, the start of the year, Jonathan Taylor was not 100%, did not play through the first four weeks of the season. And then, of course, there was a couple games late in the season in which Jonathan Taylor had to miss because of an ankle. It was definitely bugging him. But this is the year now where Jonathan Taylor has the opportunity to really explode back into the scene. Remember that 2021 season, guys, where he just absolutely took off. There was nothing that could stop this man. It was, uh, yeah, it was 2021. And then... Uh, obviously had a few injuries up and down the road the last couple of years that have sidelined him. Um, but this time around, not only is he healthier to go into the year, but he has Anthony Richardson coming back now, which can potentially allow Jonathan Taylor to get a few more big runs this next year that maybe he didn't quite get enough of in the previous year from the fact that Gardner Minshew was not as much of a moving threat. So with Anthony Richardson and his skill set and how they, they're looking to attack that defense going forward with this offense now being a little more athletic, you're going to now have a situation where Jonathan Taylor can come in and do a lot more damage. So Jonathan Taylor is the first name on this list. And the second name on the list, staying with the offense here, I know y'all are going to kill me once again for suggesting this name, but it's going to be Alec Pierce. Now, obviously, him and Adonai Mitchell are going to be sharing some time out there with snaps. I totally get it. But Alec Pierce and his skill set and what he provides you as a vertical threat was not something that you had a ton of last year. Again, due to the quarterback in which you had playing and the offensive scheme that was changed because of the skill set of Gardner Minshew. There was a lot less attempts to throw the ball deep, and that was why it wasn't as big of a season for Alec Pierce, even though Alec Pierce had a couple of really big moments last year for the Colts offense, despite multiple times just being flushed out in the middle of it. And, the middle of nowhere and nobody was able to actually make anything work for him as we said guys today's episode is sponsored by prize picks now what is prize picks prize picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in north america instead of battling against thousands of other players across platforms you're basically picking two to six player stat projections and you're choosing more or less on those stat projections to be able to watch those winnings roll in it's very easy do you guys want to play along at some of prize picks favorite players like rapper meek mill and ufc fighter sugar sean o'malley well if you guys sign up today you can find the community plays under the promos tab of the app 
to view the entries of some of the biggest names on the platform and be a part of that as well. You can now win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into $1,000 just like that with NBA, NHL, and college basketball entries today on prize picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Like a lot of other things, guys, they also offer injury insurance. So your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. So if someone exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player projection won't count against you and the rest of your entry stays live. So it's great it bounce back for that one. What I love about the app as well, guys, is it's not just sports like NBA, NHL, football and tennis and all and baseball and all these other things but there's also a lot of others that go into it as well if you like to place entries on video game situations like call of duty cs2 apex if that's something that appeals to you there's a wide variety of sports and video games and everything else that you can place entries on and i love how expansive it is Even just looking at the NBA, there's entries you can make with turnovers, with points. You can do combo deals, dunks, field goals attempted, all these different things. So there's just so many different ways to make money off of these entries. Be sure to download the app today and use code BTJ for a first deposit match up to $100. Again, download the app today. And use code BTJ for a first deposit match up to $100. Again, it's sponsored by Prize Picks. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. But this year, Anthony Richardson, who now has the ability to throw a 60 plus yard pass anytime he wants to, and his willingness to make that pass now has the ability to hit Alec Pierce for much bigger gains that. Yards, uh, I mean, the amount of yards per catch, uh, is going to go up for him. He's going to get utilized in a more explosive role. So that's why Alec Pierce is primed for a breakout season because you're going to see a lot more bigger plays from Alec Pierce with Anthony Richardson back. Staying with the offense for one more player here, uh, and that is actually Jelani Woods. Again, everybody keeps missing this guy, and nobody keeps talking about him. Guys, if Jelani Woods is 80% of what he was before those hamstring injuries, Jelani Woods in this in this scheme and this with this play designer and this play caller. Jelani Woods might have the most insane season I've ever seen. He is a guy that 100% can go out there and be a difference maker, not just in the open field, but in the red zone as well. A guy that's 6'7", it's just a big body. You can move him anywhere. You can design every type of play for him. He's athletic enough. You can run plays with him as a quarterback, as a guy that was once a quarterback in college. There's a lot of different possibilities for Jelani Woods. And if he's even close to the athlete that he was in 2021, he will 100% thrive in this system because it's a system that knows how to get the big guys open. And Jelani Woods is going to have a lot of opportunities for that. So look for Jelani Woods to be primed to have a great season here coming up. Now we're going to go to the defense here and we're going to go to two secondary players. Uh, Juju Brents is the first player on this list for me. Now, the reason I say prime for it, yes, he had a re- he had a pretty good year last year for Indianapolis. Of course, when it came to the fact that he was injured, I mean, remember, Juju Brents was not able to do much in training camp until the last week or two of training camp because he was still dealing with the wrist injury that he had and was coming off of a surgery. So the first couple weeks of training camp, he didn't get a chance to do anything outside of conditioning, right? So didn't get a lot of that on-field drills and activities and get those reps. And of course, uh, late in the season, we remember he missed seven games due to an injury. So 
It was not a great season for availability's sake when it came to Juju Brents. If Juju Brents remains healthy this year, then you're going to see a much more polished Juju Brents on the field this year versus what you saw in 2023. And even in 2023, we're all saying that besides Kenny Moore, Juju was clearly the best corner out there on the field at any given time. So if that's the bar and we're going to shoot for even higher, then Juju is going to have a great season coming up this year. Um, sticking with the secondary here, and that is actually Nick Cross. And I'm going to go there here real quick. And the reason why I say that Nick Cross is primed for it, not necessarily saying that I think he will hit a breakout season, more like trying to say that he has to. Like, I, I know Nick Cross is insanely young. I totally get it. But again, as we were talking about in other videos before, guys, Nick Cross has some legit competition now. Uh, Nick Cross is facing Rodney Thomas, facing Daniel Scott. Daniel Scott, who was out there uh, with the ones uh, last time at OTAs, remember, he picked off Anthony Richardson. Daniel Scott is out there making plays. If Nick Cross does not get his act together, then Nick Cross will not get another chance to be a starting safety for this team moving forward. The Colts are looking to try to find that free safety or strong safety hybrid that is going to go out there and be opposite to Julian Blackman and find the guy that can go out there and make plays. And Nick Cross, while he did make a few last year, when you asked him to be a starter in this scheme, he was not able to do it. He wasn't quite the same. So maybe Daniel Scott is the answer. Maybe Rodney Thomas has a breakthrough after, you know, having a really bad sophomore slump. You know, maybe that's how that works. Maybe the Colts look to continue to try to search for that. Who knows? But if Nick Cross does not fix what is going on with him and doesn't improve drastically, then he's just going to be a, a special teams guy. And so this is his chance to be having that breakout season because if he doesn't, he could potentially get left in the dust. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this. Is there a player here that you think is prime for a breakout season? Do you agree with my list? Do you not agree with my list? But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. And as always, guys, Colts. Yeah.